Welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Rasta Mountain Lion tutorial. I've got my colors on my right hand side and my canvas which is about 1006 by 640 pixels and we're going to get right into it. First we're going to start with the rectangle tool. So the rectangle tool here is going to draw a rectangle about here is good I think this is good and you're going to round the edges of this rectangle so I'm going to hold control and just round these edges to about here I'm going to color use the dropper tool which is D or you can find a dropper tool here in your toolbox area and we're going to select um, I think is it this orange this orange will do for now and then we're just going to duplicate this with control and D just showing you the duplicate or you can go to edit and duplicate and I'm just going to activate my rotational handle so click twice to activate the rotational handle hold control rotate in increments and we're going to create our star right here rectangle star and that gives us the first shape so just going to select these two holding shift and then go to path and union good then we're going to move on into our lion and for that we're going to activate the star tool and we're going to select the polygons tool so you have the option of star and polygon we're going to select polygon And we're going to up this to seven sides. And we're just going to draw our shape. Let's color it a different color. It's going to be gray, like a deep gray. So I think this is good. And we're just going to rotate it. So we want the tip of this pointing upwards. Good and you want this to be as level as possible so just gonna zoom in to make sure it's level great so we got the level part i'm just gonna scale it in a slight touch a tad good so we have this thing in and it's level and we're gonna move into the actual internal parts of this now and for that i'm gonna create use the ellipse tool holding control and shift I'm just going to pull up let's give it a different color so that we can see it I'm going to create two circles that will represent the top of his head and another two circles for those famous cheek cat cheek um, cat cheeks that are common on most all cat species. I'm just going to loosely join them together. So making sure it cuts through. So with the Bezier tool, we just loosely putting them together. And you can find the Bezier tool over here. I'm just going to fit it in. And slowly we're getting the shape to form. Ever so loosely just putting things together. Good. Alright, and we're just going to unify these shapes. I'm going to go to path and union. Make sure we just get rid of some of these node irregularities. And let's move it up here. Delete this. Good. Now we have this, we're just going to add our circle down here. Should make for the mouth 
and so I'm going to just change this a different color slightly select D and select this orange so I can see what's happening good and you're just going to duplicate this shape once and go to path and difference with the two of them selected bring this down ever so slightly and scale down Then control and scaling down and I'm going to use a dropper to and select this color right here so we have our basic line shape and we're just going to fix that to play about with this and fix it up a bit so now that we have our basic line shape just gonna move in and we're gonna do the facial features which is the nose so for that I'm gonna select the star to once more draw a star let's put in a different color so that we can see it uh, we're going to use the polygon side of things well, both can use i suppose but we're going to use a polygon and we're going to reduce the corners to three so in the polygon and reduce the corners to three so that we get a triangle i'm going to rotate it it like this let's lift it down I'm just gonna scale in and currently the center of the scale is not in the center point which may cause problems for me but that's okay I think we can just navigate around it without having to change it just make sure this is as equal as possible good and then for the last one we're just going to make the eyes and for the eyes now it's going to draw two big circles or just one for now and then we're going to activate our bezier tool and I'm just going to cut the bezier, use the bezier tool to cut across this eye about two thirds down. Or well, that may be three quarters down. Good. And then I'm going to select the both of these and go to path and intersection. Good. And then we're just going to zoom in here and click a point down here and just drag it down hold control I'm going to make this a rectangle with the bezier tool and I think we can about carry it across just a little create this shape then we're just going to unify these two I think that's about logical and duplicate if we put it to the other side we duplicate with control and D then we're going to flip it on the horizontal axis carry it across and we have our basic lion now we're just going to go in and sort of just tweak and and modify until we get the look that we're looking for so first up, let's sort out this head. I'm going to delete this node in the middle. And then I was going to lift these two handles mm -hmm. gently. And that will give us the head for the lion. Can pull down. Then we're gonna go into the middle here. We're going to select these two nodes and then we're just going to pull in I'm going to do the same on this side, just pull in and that gives th that shape so we have a nice looking cat shape here and we're going to select these two 
make sure you have show transformational handles for selected nodes up hold control and shift I'm going to drag them out I'm going to make these cheeks slightly more puffy then we're going to select everything and drag them in good and then for the next part we're going to start to modify the mouth just a little bit we're just going to select this middle node and drag it down select the nodes just delete these two actually shouldn't be here select these two nodes and straighten them select these two nodes and straighten these and we're just going to pull this node up good good for the nose now we're going to convert this nose to a path so i'm going to go to object to path good and then it's going to hold control and just put in so that the nose is curved good we want these outsides to be curved as well so we're just going to select all the nodes and we're going to select make segments curves and that will give us the nodes and then we're just going to curve it free handedly good you can sort of bring it in slightly a bit so nothing purely symmetrical here just a lot of freehand work and for here now we're simply just going to delete this node and just fix these handles right here so delete this node on your keyboard with the delete key and just fix the handles so that it's a bit more I like you can drag in these also that helps the look and you have your lion which looks a lot more like a serious lion right I think on mine also the eyes are a little bit tilted and maybe you could just lift this up slightly and then just rotate it something like that so you can just select these two click on a node to activate the rotational handles that's what this tool does it applies the selection tools to nodes so and you can just rotate any set of nodes that you have selected so I've just rotated these a bit and I'm going to duplicate this one and just flip it on the horizontal axis bring them closer but then that makes for a more serious lion Also, I can carry this in and just scale this up a bit. Good. I think that looks really good. All right, then. So we have our lion. Just scale this head down a bit and zoom in. You have more time to sort of play until you're happy. But I have a tutorial to finish, so I can't take that time. So for the next part, now that we have all the faculties here, we're going to add the colors and the drop shadow. So let's move in to creating the colors. I'm going to select the Bezier tool, hold control, click on this vertice right here. I'm holding control and pull up. Good. I'm going to hold control while I'm creating this so I get a get straight lines or as straight as possible and I'm going to make this red is this one the red one? let me just check no, that's the actual yellow one so I'm going to set the yellow let's remove this stroke I'm just going to fix up here 
um, put it underneath. Good. Then we're going to do the same, but this time looking at the edge of this vertice on the head, carrying it down, holding control, and just making sure these lines are as straight as you can get them. We're going to make this one red. Remove the stroke and put it underneath. Now you can definitely use a snap tool to make sure that this is as smooth as possible. But you know, I'm just dealing with more node control this time around and just going to duplicate the previous rectangle, make it slightly smaller and use the green with the dropper tool. So you have all the colors here represented. I think that looks good. Um, so what we're going to do is going to select all of these and group them. So we're going to go to object and group. We're going to duplicate the control and D, flip it on the horizontal axis, bring it in. And then put it underneath everything. And just going to extend the red because it looks a bit short. Great. And that makes for the stripes of the lion. Then we're going to add a bit more to this whole design. And we're going to add to the main. We're just going to create a triangle. I'm going to duplicate this triangle and put it on the other side. Just mirror it here. Select the two of them, go to path and union. Hold shift and select the main and go to path and difference. Uh, this this triangle is a bit too thick. But I'm gonna continue that. I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. Great stuff. All right. I think we are ready for. Yeah, I think we're ready for the actual. Just lifting up the top here because I think that adds a bit to this design. I think we're ready for the drop shadow. pulling this up yeah we're ready for the drop shadow so let's begin with the outside drop shadow select the B for bezier and it's gonna draw a line from edge to edge here and then pull out holding control it's gonna select this node right here with the bezier tool and just extend the bezier to out holding control and then we're just going to complete the shape control is really a good tool for this because it helps you to keep your bezier line straight we're just going to put it underneath shape here with the layer step tools and without me having to do much it is already lined up so I'm going to duplicate this now with control and D scaling and I'm going to seek to do this with the lion's face now and we're going to try and match up with the two peaks right here hold control and scale out and that's about as close as I'll get it. So I'm going to put it underneath now. I think I can even scale that a bit more actually. 
here. Let's go a bit more and eradicate you. It's gonna draw a box around this. Select the two of them and go to path and difference. Good, so get rid of that extra. And I'm just gonna drag this node down. So then I'm gonna duplicate the shape underneath, select that shadow that we just created, go to path and intersection. And that's our second shadow. Let's give it a color. I think this color is good. This bright orange is good. Okay, and for the next step, we're gonna add the same effect to the nose and to the eyes. So let's go to the top of the eyes, about here actually. Hold control, make sure it's the same 30 degrees that we had before. Good. And I'm just gonna draw a line right here. See what we got going on here. Yeah, I think this is good. I'm gonna select this right here. We're gonna go to our fill and stroke dialog box. And we're just going to change it to a darker, um, what do you call this color now? Pale yellow. Good, I think this is looking all right. And we're gonna duplicate this. In fact, instead of duplicating it, we're going to apply similar, a similar, Drop shadow. Forgive me, that's my clients. Similar drop shadow and we're just going to apply the same sort of thing. Lift it up so that we so that it meets both of the vertices of the eye. So we've got this and this. And we're going to duplicate this one and carry it to the nose. Carry it to the nose. About here is good and lift this up to about here and put this below so we have our drop shadows great so now we can actually start to add our gradients for the last step we're going to activate the gradient tool select this color by clicking and then click and drag down oh, i want to make sure we got the linear on click and drag down it's on stroke at the moment let me just flip this over so on stroke, I'm gonna move this to fill and try it once more. I should carry it down, hold control so that you're pulling it along the same gradient as the lines that you created. I'm gonna do the same for this. Go to gradient two, click once, click, a, click and drag down, hold control, lift this up. Click once, click and drag down. that click once is to select the color and gradient tool again click once click and drag down and lift up and so you have your drop shadows looking very nice good and also on your nose Just drag these down a bit more so it's got a bit more to come down with, and I can pull this up slightly. Okay, so we have these done, these two. I think the very last thing I'm going to do for this tutorial is that I'm going to, yeah, 
add the drop shadows on both the line and the star so I'm going to add this and just drop it duplicate the star let's drop it underneath and I'm going to color it black let's lift it up slightly good so we just want it so that it's underneath this the, the main star that we made first good and then we're just going to hold alt and shift it to the side with the directional buttons on your keyboard and this would shift it to the side in small increments good I think this is good and I'm gonna give it a blur of about two yeah, I think that's good and I'm gonna select the darker orange right here and in the finish stroke human saturation bar we're just gonna carry it down and for this one now the line itself going to duplicate the main drop it we just want it to be slightly just a bit under the dark the black main itself i'm going to make sure it's true black and like but like the other drop shadow we're just going to hold alt and move it to the bottom right hand side and give it a blur of the same too and just reduce the opacity of this this last blur i think 39 is good for the last blur opacity and there you have it the lion the mountain lion icon tutorial if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this tutorial then you can leave a message in the comment box on the blog post associated this don't mem don't forget to check the blog post if you prefer the written tutorial or you want to catch back on some steps that you may have missed in this video it's good for persons who want to just slow it down a bit and you'll get your colors there as well as a breakdown of the steps Until I see you again, get up and design.